Hello and good morning. Today's video tutorial is going to be another in the Juno S series of tutorials where we take a look at performing an upgrade but pulling down the upgrade file from an FTP server. If you remember from yesterday we performed uh, the Juno S upgrade using a USB stick which is typically my preferred method but in some cases you may not have uh, physical access to the switch. It may be at a remote location that is difficult to get to or inconvenient to get to. And so here's another way that you can perform your Juno S upgrade. And this is going to be done via anonymous FTP. And so I went ahead and set up an anonymous FTP server on my uh, Red Hat Linux box this morning. And so let's dive in and take a look here. So the first step is to go ahead and log in as the user root which we will do right now and then Juniper123 and as you can see we're running Juno S 11.4 R4.4 and we're going to be upgrading in here let me <coughs> hit enter a few times overwrite this so we're going to be upgrading this and I'm going to jump into the CLI so we're going to do request system software add and I'm going to put the IP address of my FTP server my anonymous FTP server so 192.168.1.41 and then the name of the Juno S image we're going to use. So as you can see here, we're going to be jumping from 11.4 R4.4 straight to 12.3 R7.7. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to tell me it's fetching the package. So over here, let's see if I type netstat and sure enough, um, this is my anonymous FTP server and you can clearly see right here a TCP session has been established and this is the management IP of the Juniper switch 192.168.1.7 and you can see that we're connecting in for an FTP transfer in fact you can see the port 20 and port 21 so there's the data and then the control traffic and so that's why we have two ports opened up here one for data and one for control and we can see that the connection's been made and it's actually transferring the package. So let's see what happens here. So I've got my package and it's tarred and gzipped. It said validating the configuration against the incoming dash package. So use the no validate option if we want to skip this. Now, here's what's interesting. So let's say that you decided, you know what? 12.3 R7.7, that's actually not what we want to use. I wanted to use 12.3 R6.6. And so simply to back out of this, you could type request system, um, <clears throat> let me make sure I remember this, software rollback, right? So, but I'll, I'll come back to this because if I try to copy another file, and let's say I could actually try to copy the same file or I could try to copy over, whoops, let's see, so ls-laj install, and oops, downloads, I want to be in documents, documents, cd, cd, documents. So if I do an ls-lai, I have a few um, j install files here. So if I were to take, make this a little larger here, if I were to grab the 13.2x50, and I'll grab it all the way to the T, and let's put this over on that FTP server. So we're going to say um, SCP, and I'm going to SCP this file name, .tgz, over to root at 192.168.1.41, colon slash var slash FTP. See if I can remember my root password here. Let's see. There we go. All right. So I'm going to transfer this other file over into that same directory. So while that's wrapping up, and that was pretty quick, so it's an internal transfer, so it's going to be very fast. So if I were to take a look at the netstat output now, you can see that those FTP sessions, right, they're gone because the FTP session had ended. Okay, so if I were to type ls now, you can see I've got two files here, and this is the file 
that I'm going to try to copy over now. And let's say you decided, you know what, I don't want to do uh, the the 12.3 R7.7. I'm just going to jump straight to 13, right? So if you were to try to type in request system software add, and then let's say we do that same FTP command, 192.168.1.41 slash, and now we're going to put in this next file. So this is a 13.2 file. If I hit enter, you can see that the Juno S is smart enough to tell you, hey, hold on a second, there's already an install pending, which means we've already copied over the new Juno S image that we would like to use. So what it says is, use the request system reboot command to complete my install, but it's to complete the install of the first file that was transferred over, and that was the 12.3 R7.7. But let's say we decide, you know what, hey, I've made a mistake, I've now tried to transfer over the file I actually want to do the upgrade with. So what you would type is request system software rollback, right? And so this now says, hey, the software update was backed out. And again, it's backing out the original update that we wanted to do with the 12.3 R7.7. So for whatever reason, if I wanted to now move forward and say, hey, now I'm going to use the 13.2 x50. Let's copy that guy over. You can see that we're not getting an error message here. And if I come over here and take a look at the netstat output, you can see that the FTP session has been established with chirp1, which is the anonymous FTP server. You can also see some various SSH connections I have coming from this host that I'm on here, which is 192.168.1.69. And these are the random high port numbers that are generated on the source side. And then obviously my destination is to port 22 for SSH. Okay, so again, we've got this active FTP session. I'm now transferring over the file that I really want to upgrade to. And you can see there where it's going to say that it's got the update, it's ready to go, so now I can use reboot. So we're actually going to roll back here because we are going to go ahead and simply do the 12.3 R7.7. So I'll hit enter. And again, it's nice to see because, you know, maybe another administrator or maybe even yourself, you had copied over a file and forgot that that file was there, that you had placed that TGZ, that TARD and GZIPPED file with the with a Juno S operating system and you can't remember what it is you certainly don't want to reboot right because you might not know which version you're upgrading to so basically just go ahead and do the request system software rollback and that's gonna clear out that that requested upgrade which is what you entered when you typed in you know request system software add alright so this is gonna go ahead it's gonna fetch the packages let's take a look here and see Sure enough, we've got some new random high ports there, but we have our FTP session, which is established and running for the data and the control traffic for FTP. All right, so it looks like it's complete, and you can see that there's still, it's waiting to die out there. All right, so we'll let that go on its way. Okay, so we've now got the file that we want which is the Juno S 12.3 R 7.7. And again, we're upgrading. So at this point, I'm ready to upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and type in request system reboot. And someone had asked me one day, is there any way to upgrade an EX series switch without doing a reboot? And the answer to that is not that I know of. So even on the, the Cisco uh, the equivalent Cisco Catalyst series switches, you know, 30, 3650, 3850, 3560. I don't know of any way to perform an upgrade without actually recycling the switch. So we're going to go ahead and do our request system reboot. I'm going to hit enter. It says, do you want to reboot the system? We're going to say yes. And it's now going to go ahead and go down. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead. We'll take a look over here real quick. 
So we did the first step, we got the file transferred over, we actually learned how to back out of that if in fact we wanted to put a different file over there to do an upgrade. And then we went ahead and requested our system reboot. So when the switch comes back up, after the reboot's complete, we're gonna go ahead and do the show version. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pause right now and then we'll come back and take a look at the the meaningful output from the reboot here once it completes. So we'll go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back and we're gonna go ahead and, and roll back here and take a quick look at what happened when we did our reboot. So this was back to where we did the request system reboot. It came back, it added in, check the packages went ahead and added in the new software and then went through a reboot itself as you can see as we roll down a little further here you can see where it is now verifying and validating the packages for the 12.3 R77 right and then the system comes up so let's go ahead and let's log in as root and Juniper123 and there we go. And the reason that it uh, it starts up there is I believe the terminal is set to probably, I think it was 80 by 80 or 80 by 20 or something like that. So, but we'll just hit enter a few times and come down here, I'll type in CLI and we'll do a show configuration. And there you have it. Software version is 12.3 R7.7. And that is how you do the upgrade from an FTP server. And again, the key is, is that it's an anonymous FTP server. You'll notice there was nowhere for me to either put in a username or password. So you wanna make sure it's an anonymous FTP server. Um, and if you don't have local access and you can't do the USB install, the FTP install is another great, great way to get your Juno S switch upgraded. Right, and we're using an EX3200 for our demonstrations here. Okay, so hopefully that was of some help to you, and now you have a better idea as to how to perform an upgrade using and leveraging an anonymous FTP server. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.